Dr. Natalia Flatrick from Serbia. Uh, the title of her presentation is Oral Supplementation with Organ Modified Crinopterolite Inference, the Relative Content of Serum Gamma Global Infraction without to influence and metabolic profile parameters of uh, primperous dairy cows during prepartum period. Thank you for Please. presentation, for introduction. Um, distinguished uh, chairman and colleagues, I would like to present our work, oral supplementation with organomodified clinoptilolite increases re relative content of blood serum gamma globulin fraction without changes in metabolic profile parameters of primiparose dairy cow during peripartal period. Zeolite is cri crystalline, high rates of alumosilicates of alkaline and alkaline earth cations that have an infinite uh, three-dimensional structure with interconnecting channels and large pores uh, capable of trapping molecules of proper dimension. Unique of zeolites is that possess selective cation absorption and exchange capacity. An additive in animal nutrition, zeolite is used uh, in order to improve production performance and the major effects of zeolite is prevention of microtoxicosis, as we know. Uh, clinoptilolite is a member of uh, nature zeolite family and is uh, widely used in of, uh, is widely used uh, nature zeolite in animal studies. Clinoptilolite has high attraction for water at large numbers of uh, cations like uh, sodium, potassium, ammonium, cal calcium, magnesium, which can be reversibly bound or released depending upon the surrounding condition. Uh, Long-term supplementation of clinoptilolite had a positive effect on uh, healthy in dairy cows. In addition to nature zeolites, new compounds were obtained by modern technologies, organomodified clinoptilolite. The effect of zeolite on quality and composition of colostrum uh, has not been studied uh, so far. Our recently research show positive effects uh, with oral supplementation with organomodified clinoptilolite on colostrum quality in primiparose dairy cows. Um, it's our results, recently results, which show uh, that uh, IgG concentration in first and second colostrum was higher in supplemented in supplemented compared to control group, is supplemented compared to control group. Uh, <clears throat> concentration was higher uh, also in third and fourth colostrum, but it was not statistically significant. Because our previous results show positive effects, uh, we uh, further investigate positive, uh, possible effects of oral supplementation with organomodified clinoptilolite on uh, protein metabolism, uh, protein uh, homeostasis, protein metabolism, energy status, lipid and mineral metabolism. Uh, experimental protocol uh, <clears throat> consists of um, total number of 36 uh, primiparose Holstein Friese and dairy cows were included in the study and divided in two uh, groups. Uh, in first groups, in first group, uh, 20 cows were daily orally supplemented with organomodified clinoptilolite. Uh, uh, with uh, 150 gram uh, during the late pregnancy from 21 days before parturition until two days after parturition. Uh, second, groups, uh, second group was control group of uh, 16 uh, unsupplemented animals. All animals uh, included in the study, all experimental animals were clini clinically healthy. Uh, blood samples, uh, blood serum samples were obtained five times during the study period 
21 days and five days before parturition and uh, at day one, two, and seven after parturition. Uh, results show that uh, oral supplementation with organomodified uh, clinoptilolite had uh, no effects on uh, total, prote total serum protein, albumin, urea, glucose, beta hydroxybutyrate, total cholesterol, triglyceride, total calcium, phosphorus, magnesium concentration, which were within the reference range in both groups, experimental groups. Uh, also, oral supplementation uh, did not influence absolute concentration of alpha, beta, and gamma globulins. <clears throat> uh, the next figures show <coughs> our results that concentrations of calcium, uh, magnesium, and phosphorus uh, uh, in both groups uh, did not show significant difference did not show significant difference. Also, concentration of triglyceride, glucose, beta-hydroxybutyrate, and glucose, and cholesterol, excuse me, uh, was also uh, in the reference stage and, and did not uh, difference uh, uh, in their concentration uh, between the groups. Concentration of uh, proteins, uh, albumins, and urea also was within the reference range and, it, and did not show significant difference between the groups. Excuse me, my mouth is, is so. Uh, uh, by Adger's gel electrophoresis, uh, serum proteins divided in uh, four fractions. As you can see on the picture, albumin, alpha, beta, and gamma globulin, and gamma globulin fractions divided into subfractions, uh, fast uh, anionic gamma globulin and uh, uh, slow uh, cationic gamma globulin. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, also concentrations, absolute concentrations of uh, gamma globulin, beta globulin, alpha globulin, and albumin did not show significant difference between the groups. In agarose gel electrophoresis, two protein uh, fractions of gamma globulins were present. As I showed before, slow cationic gamma globulins predominantly contains IgG2, and fast anionic gamma globulins uh, predominantly contains IgG1. In both experimental group, on day 21, when we start with the experiment, relative content of uh, gamma globulin fractions were similar. Uh, in a slow gamma global infraction and in fast gamma global infraction treated versus control. From day five to seven, there was increase in the concentration of slow gamma globulin and decrease in the concentration of fast gamma globulin in both groups. Uh, however, <clears throat> oral supplement supplementation with organomodified clinoptilolite uh, resulted in the significant uh, changes of gamma global infraction relative content on day five and day one com compared to control. What was on day uh, five? At day five, there was a slightly but, but significant decrease in uh, slow gamma global infraction relative content and increase of fast gamma global infraction relative content in supplemented group. Opposite effect was observed at day one with significant increase of slow gamma global infraction relative content and decrease in uh, fast gamma global infraction relative content in the supplemented uh, group compared to the control. And now we can see on this slide. At the start, at the start of the experiment, uh, relative content of slow gamma global infraction and increased gamma global infraction was similar. Uh, difference was at uh, five uh, days before parturition and day one after parturition. 
And we can see on this graph that the uh, <clears throat> entreated group uh, slow gamma global infraction was significantly decreased compared to control, and fast gamma global infraction increased compared to control. Opposite effect we can see on day, at day one, when uh, there is increase in slow gamma global infraction in treated compared to control, and decrease in uh, and decrease in uh, fast gamma global infraction compared to control, significant decrease. And the uh, trend in the concentration of slow and uh, fast gamma globulin are that the slow gamma global infraction show increase and uh, fast gamma global infraction show decrease, as you can compare with the uh, literature figure, figure from the literature. What is important for that? Uh, in conclusion, <clears throat> in conclusion, uh, I can say that oral supplementation with organomodified clinoptilolide did not have any apparent adverse effect on the protein metabolism, energy status, lipid, and mineral metabolism in primiparous dairy cows during peripartal period. However, our results indicate that oral supplementation with organomodified clinoptilolite uh, could have beneficial effect on the relative content of fast gamma global infraction, mostly IgG1, with increased relative content at day five before parturition and decreased relative content at day one after parturition which reflecting their increased synthesis and transport to the colostrum. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.